guys, welcome back to today's extra video. Today, we are gonna free jump our dogs and our ponies. Horses versus dogs. I think it's the first time we've ever done this on this channel. And we've done a lot of things on this channel. And Molly's gonna jump barrels. <laughs> This is the jump, and we're gonna see how the dogs do versus how our ponies do. I don't trust her either. All right, let's do this. Oh my gosh. Okay, close my door a bit. But first we're gonna put the pony, the mini, away because she's never really experienced this gate before. And for some reason she thinks she can get in by coming through. She can. She probably could. She could just lay down and roll over. Come on, you wanted to go out. You wanted to come in, now come you're in. Come here. To be safe, she's going in her stall until we're done. All right, you ready, Molly? Molly, are you ready? Are you ready, Molly? Are you ready, Ruby? Who remembers who our most athletic dog is? Who's our most athletic dog? Ruby. Comment below. Ruby. Ruby? She's jumped four foot. Yeah, Ruby can jump. Ruby can jump. Ruby can jump. Spin. Daisy can run. Spin. And Molly can jump. Did you see that? We didn't even tell her. All right, let's go. Jump number one. They love this energy. Okay, come on, Molly. And there's number one. <laughs> Woo! Cle cleared it by a mile. All right. Raise those jumps, everybody. Raise the jumps. <laughs> wow, that was fast. All right, let's see who will jump it. Come on, Molly. Woo! Molly will run over you. Yeah. Come on, Ruby. Woo! These dogs are excited. Molly is, Ruby, Ruby is so good at jumping. Did you see her fly over that? Yeah, you're so good. <laughs> you're amazing. All right, raise that jump. Raise that jump. Are you guys ready? Are you ready, Molly? Ruby? Are you ready, Molly? Molly's not actually even a jumper. Also, you guys should know that Molly is just about to turn three in about six weeks. And Ruby is like eight or something. Willow's like, <laughs> and Willow is back there waiting for her turn. She's watching. Stay there. Stay there. <laughs> these these dogs don't even need a treat, although Ruby's asking, but they don't even need a treat. You'll get one at the end. But can you guys see the difference between like when an animal's doing what they love to do, what they're good at, and what they're built to do, they enjoy it so much more. Notice the difference between Molly and Ruby jumping. This way, you want to try again? Woo! Ruby doesn't even hesitate. She loves a good jump. Whereas Molly's more into like a thinking kind of a job. She likes to. Yeah, that is probably around Molly's limit. Ruby could probably jump at the top of the When uh, most of you guys know this, but when we when we got Ruby, she was with a family for two and a half years of age. She was two, when we got Ruby, she was two and a half years old. She lived with a family all that time and they loved her, but she was troubled. She wasn't potty trained. It took them two and a half years and she still couldn't potty train. No, no. And she jumped every gate they put her behind. Because she wasn't potty trained, they needed to like keep her in isolate, they needed to keep her in the kitchen or in rooms that it was easy to clean up after her. She's gonna get her ball, I hear that. And because of that, and her learning to jump over every single fence they ever put her behind, even in their yard, she wasn't a good fit for them. But she was a perfect fit for us. All right. I think this is like the last limit. Well, we'll keep going until Ruby says no. We don't think Molly can make this one. And she'll tell us and we'll listen to her. All right. Come on, Molly. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Ruby. Woo 
<laughs> she took a long. Did you guys see that? All right, let's go out. One more, I think. One more for Rubes. All right, so we're not gonna jump Molly this high. We just don't feel like, she's a small dog and it's just not her. Yeah, we just don't think that this is, we don't wanna risk an injury. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Ruby. Come on, Ruby. Come on, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I wanted you guys to see how she jumped it. That is high enough. We're definitely not gonna go any higher. We just wanted to have some fun with our dogs and create a situation where they are enjoying themselves. Horse treats Yeah, they like the horse treats, but, but they love the energy. All of our dogs, they keep telling you guys, and our horses, they love when we have like an energy about us and they get excited and they wanna like do fun things. What? It's Willow's turn. It's Willow's turn. We are gonna turn the puppies away we're gonna put the puppies away and try with the minis we're gonna take a few minutes to warm up willow and lunch her and also gracie and then we'll be back here with you guys in just a few minutes and start Every single thing. She taught her to lunch, she taught her to jump, she taught her everything. When we got Willow, she'd been sitting in a field for 15 years and was never worked with. She just was a broodmare. So fun fact, everything she can do is because of Sophie. Get ready, are you ready Willow? Are you ready? She's giving me the side eye. She's like, oh, I'm ready. <laughs> no problem. All right, we are set to our first vertical. Can she do it? Can this little mini do it? As you guys can tell by Willow's energy and her excitement and how easily she wants to do it, she never tries to duck out of the jump, that she's made for jumping too. She loves it. In fact, I feel like Willow likes to jump more than Gracie likes to jump. Do you think Gracie likes to jump, Gabby? Yeah. All right, Gracie likes to jump. Willow likes to jump. Willow's good at everything. Willow is good at everything, which is one of the reasons why we like minis. What she's bad at? It's doing tricks, why don't tell you? <laughs> because you didn't train her to not do them unless you ask her. Alright, here we go. We're not going to jump super high, any of our horses, because in the winter... Yeah, like this will probably be the last one. We'll see how she goes. Girl. Last one, Willow. Whoa! Good girl! Not even a hesitation. So far, I honestly believe that Willow and Ruby are our jumpers in this family. It's too bad you weren't bigger, Willow. It's too bad. If she was bigger, I'd get her to go higher. And if she was younger. Yeah, and she's getting old. But actually, she's, she used to jump like, she's 19, 19 or 20, I can't remember. She used I think. to jump like that high every day. She may be 16, 17, 18. She might be turning 20 this year. She's really cute. She's such a good pony. Like, it took me a long time to bond with Willow because at first she was so not used to being handled that she really only bonded with Sophie. And then it yeah. just took me a while. And then when she settled in, it's hard to grab the blankets to her. It happened fast because she's honestly the sweetest little girl. So I feel like I'm going to get a gelding a miniature horse when it's my turn to get one. I feel like it's going to be a mini. Gabby's like, no more horses. But I'm not going to get another dog. I'm not going to replace Macy, even though my heart feels like there's a hole in it. And I know how fun puppies, like especially Chihuahua puppies are. Little dog puppies. I know how fun puppies are and... and I love training them when they're little like that. Like Macy was the love of my life. Really, honestly, one of the biggest loves of my life. But I'm not gonna get that. I'm not gonna replace her. I'm not gonna get another dog. She's irreplaceable. But I'm gonna wait until it's my turn to get a mini. And I'm probably gonna get a gelding. I just feel it in my heart. 
And I don't know if I'm going to get a baby or if I'm going to get an older one. I think that God will show me what's right when the time comes and I'll just do whatever he suggests. Okay, so Gabby is going to lunge Gracie and then we will do Gracie girl. All right, let's go Gracie girl. It's your turn to shine. She's like, yeah, I hated that lunging. <laughs> it's your turn. She's going to follow me now. Willow's like, I want to turn. I want my turn back. Yeah! Woo! Look at Gracie's double swirl. She's got a double whirl. I guess it's called a whirl, but do you guys put much stock into that? I know we've talked about it before, but she's got a double, a double whirl, which it's called a whirl. It makes me think that she has the crazy gene. Let's see, Let's see. Look, see, she's got two. I was reading about it this morning. Woo! Do you guys think Gracie likes it? Do you think she's like, I think that Gracie is good at jumping. I think that she doesn't care if she jumps or not. Kind of like Molly is good at jumping, but she doesn't care. It's not her, I don't know. I feel like it's not her, her thing. I feel like she likes, <laughs> I feel like she likes a variety of different things. All right, here we go. Woo! <laughs> she says no, and you know what? I'm just gonna. Okay, we'll try one more time. All right, we'll try one more time. But if she says no, woo! Girl, Gracie, that was so good. She did it anyway. All right, just wait. So who would we say the winners are? Willow and Ruby. Molly and Ruby. Willow, Molly, and Ruby. <laughs> no, Molly. Who do you think likes jumping? Ruby and Willow. Ruby. Ruby. Ruby and Willow. I think that Gracie and Molly are really good at jumping. I just think that they, it's not their thing. It's not their thing. And the reason I wanted to bring that up is because I want you guys all to know, like everyone that's sitting there in their house thinking that they're not good at anything. Cause I know a lot of people feel like that. We listen to the other people in the world that tell us that. And we listen to our own fears inside our own heads. And we think we're not good at things, but just know that every single one of us has a purpose on earth. Every single one of us. We might not be good at the things that others are good at but we are good at some things and it's all about finding the things that you're good at when you're doing the things that you're good at you'll shine so, good at scaring, scaring i just wanted you guys all to know that all life has value and that even if you feel like you're not good you are good don't you know that you're beautiful?